Number one, you're going to move the decimal four times. And so it goes one, two, three, four. And your answer is 66,350. For number two, you're going to move the decimal seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fill it in with zeros. And so you get point zero 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 five three. Number three, you're going to move the decimal one time. And you fill it in with a zero, so the answer is 80. For number four, you move the decimal five times. One, two, three, four, five. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six point seven. For number five, you're going to move the decimal five times. And you end up with point zero 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 nine seven five. Number six, you need to move the decimal behind the first number, so you're going to move it one, two times, and you get 7.882 times 10 to the negative second power. For number seven, you move the decimal one, two, three, four, five times, and get 1.18 times 10 to the fifth power. For number eight, you're going to move the decimal one, two, three, four, five, six times and get 2.72338 times 10 to the negative sixth power. Number nine, you move the decimal one, two times and get 4.5 times 10 to the second. And number 10, you move the decimal one, two, three, four times and get 7.41717 times 10 to the fourth power. Number 11, you're comparing 1.2 times 10 to the 6th and 1.23 times 10 to the 6th. 1.23 is larger, so it's greater than. 32 million and 3.2 times 10 to the 7th are equal. 7.86 times 10 to the negative 5th and 7.8 times 10 to the negative 5th. 7.86 is greater. <laughs> Number 14, 981,600,000 is greater than 9.816 times 10 to the negative eighth. Number 15, 5.4 5. 5. 5. times 10 to the seventh is equal to 54 million. For number 16, you are adding the decimals. The exponents are the same, so you are going to add 8.65 plus 0.81. You get 9.46 times 10 to the 7th power. Number 17, the exponents are the same, so you add 5.1614 plus 2.2229, and you get 7.3843 times 10 to the 2nd. Number 18, you are subtracting. The exponents are the same, so you subtract 6 minus 0.12 and get 5.88 times 10 to the third. Number 19, the exponents are the same, so you can subtract 0.3 minus 2.5, and you get negative 2.2 times 10 to the fifth. The last one, number 20, the exponents are the same, so you subtract 2.3529 minus 7.8909. gives you negative 4.638 times 10 to the fourth power. Number 21, you need to make the exponents the same, so I keep the one with the larger exponent 4. I'm going to change this 3 into a 4 by moving the decimal up one place. My problem is 2.5 times 10 to the fourth minus 0.15 times 10 to the fourth. The exponents are the same, so I can subtract 2.5 minus 0.15 you end up with 2.35 times 10 to the fourth power. Number 22, you keep the larger exponent 5. You're going to change the 2 into a 5 by moving the decimal up 3 times, 1, 2, 3, and fill it in with zeros. The problem is 0 0.00143 times 10 to the fifth plus 7.105 times 10 to the fifth. The exponents are the same, so you can add 0 0.00143 plus 
7.105 equals 7.10643 times 10 to the fifth power. Number 23, we want to make the exponents the same, so you're going to keep the 3 and you're going to change the 2 into a 3 by moving the decimal up one time. The problem is 0.12 times 10 to the third minus 6 times 10 to the third. Now that the exponents are the same, you subtract 0.12 minus 6 gives you negative 5.88 times 10 to the third power. Number 24, we want to make the exponents the same, so you keep the larger one 6, and you're going to change the 3 to a 6 by moving the decimal 3 times, 1, 2, 3, and fill it in with a 0. The problem is 0 0.0071567 times 10 to the 6 plus 5.5 .5 times 10 to the 6. The exponents are the same, so you can add 0 0.0071567 plus 5.5. .5 your answer is 5.5071567 times 10 to the 6th power. Number 25, you are going to make the exponents the same by moving the decimal up one place. The problem is 9.65 times 10 to the 7th minus 0.81 times 10 to the 7th. The exponents are the same, so you're going to go ahead and subtract 9.65 minus 0.81, you get 8.84 times 10 to the seventh. For multiplying, you go ahead and multiply the numbers and add the exponents. 6 times 8 gives you 48 times 10 to the ninth. Again, add the exponents. Move the decimal up one place. The answer is 4.8 times 10 to the tenth. Number 27, you multiply 1.4 times 5.2. You get 7.28 times 10 to the seventh, again add the exponents. Number 28, you're going to multiply four times two is eight and add the exponents, five plus three is eight, eight times 10 to the eighth. Number 29, you're going to multiply the numbers, 3.6 times two and get 7.2 and you add your exponents, six plus three is nine. Number 30, you multiply the numbers, 7.6 times six to get 45.6. You add your exponents to get a negative eight but to write it in scientific notation, you move the decimal up 1 to 5.46 times 10 to the negative 7th power. Number 31, you're going to divide your numbers, so 6 divided by 2 is 3, and you subtract the exponents. 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 times 10 to the 3rd power. Number 32, you divide your numbers, 9 divided by 3, and get 3, and you subtract the exponents, 6 minus 2. 2 is 4. For number 33, you're again going to divide your number 7.5 divided by 5, and you get 1.5, and you subtract your exponents. 8 minus negative 2. We're going to keep change change, so we keep the 8, we change subtraction to addition, change a negative 2 to a positive 2, and get 10, so it's 10 to the 10th power. Number 34, I divide my numbers, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and I subtract my exponents. 3 minus 9 is negative 6. Number 35, I take my numbers and I divide them. 3.5 divided by 7 gives me 0.5. I subtract my exponents, 1 minus negative 9. Again, I have to keep change, change. I keep the 1, change to addition, change to a positive 9, and I get 10, so it's to the 10th power but I have to move the decimal back one place to be in scientific notation. So my answer is 5 times 10 to the ninth power. Number 36, the weight of the Earth is 5.9736 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. The mass of Venus is 4.8685 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. What is the combined weight of Earth and Venus? Combined weight means add. So I'm going to add my numbers because my exponents are already the same. and you get 10.8421 times 10 to the 24th power, but you have to move the decimal up one place, so it becomes 1.08421 times 10 to the 25th power. And the last problem, planet Venus is 1.08 times 10 to the 8th kilometers away from the sun, and planet Mercury is 5.79 times 10 to the 7th kilometers from the sun. How much further away is planet Venus from the sun as compared to planet Mercury? We're talking about how much further 
not how many times. We're talking about how much, so we're going to subtract. When you subtract, the exponents have to be the same. So I'm going to keep the 8 because it's larger, and I'm going to change the 7 by moving the decimal up. My problem is 1.08 times 10 to the 8th power minus 0.579 times 10 to the 8th power. And I subtract. 1.08 minus 0.579 gives me 0 0.501 times 10 to the 8th. But to be in scientific notation, I move the decimal back one place and get 5.01 times 10 to the 7th power.